Uh, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to say about application of short bass in chemical industries. So, in this modern world, every industry, every component, it is almost related to the computer or any AI, artificial intelligence software. So, similarly, such uh, in similarly industries like chemical industries also employing artificial intelligence and some basic software for smooth uh, smooth running of these industries so some basic application of industries that is process simulation and modeling software uh, laboratory information management systems enterprise resource planning systems data analysis and the visualization software and another core software also the total are, total of eight different sectors that is being implemented that is being used for implementing this software so the first one is a process simulation and modeling software Pro applications such as aspen plus kimcad hygis these uh, these applications help us to understand what kind of a process on what kind of a, uh, what kind of a process is being uh, running in the particular industry and what will happen during the process what will happen if the temperature is being decreased or increased or pressure pressure may be varied what, what will happen if these conditions are varied? Okay. So that's where the these process simulation modeling software applies. Generally, we, what we can say it is a design software. Okay, before before constructing the whole plant, we will use these softwares to understand the to understand the total process. Okay. So the second one is a laboratory information management systems. So these softwares are the result that is being. Uh, the result that is being generated after the successful running of those units okay so what we can say is if any industry is running at a particular term, if any industry is being running for example for the production of uh, nylon uh, the temperature is being maintained at a particular and the diameter will be maintained at a particular specifications so these if for these specifications and for a particular set of uh, for a particular set of uh, nylon material you will get a particular set of nylon cloth okay so this is the laboratory information management system so by using this limbs software we don't need to use we don't need to check each and every time only thing is we can change the temperature and the pressure or whatever the specifications we can understand what will be the result will be we will have okay and my enterprise is just planning systems that is an erp software okay so uh, in the ERP software, basic software are SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft Dynamics. So this ERP software helps us to understand what kind, of, uh, what, what, uh, what are all the raw materials, what are all the materials that is still being lagging or it is being excessively used. Uh, those, uh, those can be understood. Those can be understood by using this enterprise resource planning systems. So that's why they have given the chemical industry operations, including supply chain management, production planning, inventory control, financial management, and regulatory compliance. Okay. So the fourth one is a data analysis and visualization software. So tools like MATLAB, JMP, and a Tableau. So this data analysis and visualization software is basically is being implemented in the industry for the past five to ten years only. Okay. So these data help us to understand at what rate or what date. Uh, at what time the process is being got a very high efficiency is working and what are all the environmental conditions that is being helpful for those conditions so that is where the data analysis and visualization software is being implemented so the fifth one is a safety and compliance software the safety and compliance software is being used for managing safety health and environmental compliance with respect to the chemical industries so these applications that is interlax and open authority helps us to manage with the regulatory requirements safety incidents to avoid safety incidents and conducting risk assessments for the maintaining the recommendations with respect to the employee employer and the interns who are working in the industries and the sixth one is the supply chain and management logistics software so this is what they have given us is supply chain management so the software that is being implemented in here is uh, sap supply chain management oracle supply chain management and jda software are being used to understand to understand and to know the inventory control, demand forecasting, and how to how to optimize the supply chain and managing the logistics in the chemical industries. And so sixth, seventh one is a process control systems that is actually being employed in the actual industry itself. 
so there are major two things is distributed control systems and programmable logic controllers so this helps us to understand the interface uh, helps us to understand and improve the process variables to ensure the safe and efficient operations and this one is a regulatory compliance software as we have seen earlier this regulatory compliance software helps us to maintain the safety data sheets generating reports and ensuring adherence to the environmental health and safety regulations so these are all the major sectors that is being uh, that is being used uh, by the software for the improvement of chemical industries hope you have hope the people uh, hope the, uh, the viewers who are watching this video can understand what kind of software that is being implemented in the chemical industry or any kind of an industry and what are all the steps that need to be taken to improve those things okay so thank you bye bye